Hi everyone, this is Repeater64, and this is the first devlog of my new project, Chestcraft. Chestcraft is a Minecraft plugin that creates an entire two-dimensional Minecraft world inside of a chest. I was inspired by Seth Bling, a YouTuber, uh, who made a data pack for this, but the features were pretty limited as data packs have a lot of restrictions. So I thought I would follow in his footsteps and create an improved version. My end goal is to recreate almost all of Minecraft's normal features inside this 2D chest world. This is the very first devlog. I started on the project about a week ago, and so far we've just created the basic features, which I'll show you in a moment. Even with just the most basic features such as movement, block placing and block breaking, the project is already at 3,000 lines of code, so it's definitely going to be pretty big by the time it's done. So, let's get started. As you can see, I'm in an empty world with just a chest in front of me, and if I open it up, you'll see a 2D Minecraft world inside. I can perform different actions by clicking in different places in different ways. So if I shift left click, I can move, and as you can see we've got some footstep sounds, uh, and I can move left and right by clicking to the left and to the right of me, uh, and I can jump by clicking above me, um, and I can break blocks by left clicking, um, and as you can see the item pops into my inventory and I can still move things around my inventory like normal. Um, obviously in the future you'll actually need tools to break the blocks, but I haven't added that yet. Um, now I can switch which hotbar slot is currently selected by pressing uh, number keys, and as you can see down at the bottom it's switching which hotbar slot is selected. Um, or I can middle click on the slot itself to switch to it. Um, and I also implemented a feature that normal Minecraft has, where if you middle click on a block in the world, it switches to that item in your hotbar. So if I middle click on this log, it switches to my logs, and that even works if they're not in your inventory. So that's just a feature that normal Minecraft has, so I've added that too. Um, and now if I'm holding blocks, I can place them down by right clicking. And for all of this, as you can hear, we've got some Minecraft sounds going on. Um, and um, yeah, okay, so there's a few other features in this version. There's some basic physics. As you can see, we've got kind of falling going on. I I'm just going to go down and mine up some blocks so I can um, build a little tower and show you show you the, the falling properly. Okay, I'm going to mine some stone. In the future, it'll take more than just clicking on it once to, to mine the block. Um, I'm going to tower up much how you would jump and place blocks below your normal Minecraft. I can build a little staircase. Um, and if I jump off, you'll notice that I accelerate as I fall, and I'll also take some fall damage when I hit the ground, so I'll do that now. And there we are, I took some fall damage, and I gradually accelerated, so yeah, there's some basic physics, like you can't walk into blocks, and um, players do fall. Um, and closing the inventory resets my health and clears my inventory, but it has been saved. If I reopen the chest, I'm back with the same health, same items in the inventory, and the world has been saved as well. All the blocks I placed and broke are exactly the same. And if you're wondering, the entire thing is multiplayer. So if I open up my second account and open the chest too, you'll see I join the world, and this account is called Lajaya, so it says Lajaya if I hover over my head. This is Repeater64, which is my main account. Um, and actually, our, um, the, the skins in our heads um, match our skins in the actual thing. So if I close the chest, you can see that's what my head looks like. And inside, that's what my head looks like there. Um, and obviously, we can move around, see each other moving. If I place blocks, the other person sees it. So yeah, it's completely multiplayer. Um, and it also, you'll also notice that we just have this armour stand representing our body, which says no armour. Um, and in the future, if you're wearing armour, then that will be replaced with the type of chest plate that you're wearing. So it could be an iron chest plate, a diamond chest plate, etc. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all the features so far. But of course, there is a lot more going on in the background um, than meets the eye. There's like chunk loading and chunk saving um, and all that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, in the next devlog, I hope to add crafting, I'll make some tools, I'll make it so you have to actually have the right tool to break the block and you can't break stuff instantly, and I think I'll also add the ability to attack other entities so you can hit players and, well, yeah, who, see, who knows, maybe I'll add mobbers as well. But yeah, in the, um, 
as we go along, I'm going to make sort of devlogs to show my progress. And like I've said, my aim is to recreate pretty much all of Minecraft's features inside this chest. So by the end, hopefully we'll have a, com a pretty complete game within a game. So um, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see future devlogs and see where this project goes. And um, that's it for me today. See you next time.